Hi, welcome to another entry in my month of JS plugins. So today we're going to be looking at the gain reduction scope. Normally I'd do an overview of the features and the controls around about now, but this is definitely one that it's going to be best to see why it's useful with working with examples. So let's say we've got a track light, like usual, that has drums on it, and that we want to use this digital drum compressor JS in it. Now, as you've probably noticed, this particular JS doesn't have a gain reduction meter. It just has input and output meters. If I turn the drums on, is it doing gain reduction? Who knows? It looks like it might be or it might not be. Let's take the threshold up so it's down, so it's definitely doing gain reduction. I mean, we can sort of see, but can't really tell how much it's doing. So this is where the gain reduction scope comes in handy. So let's add our gain reduction scope. Get rid of it off the master. Okay, so at the moment all it's doing is it's just showing us levels and not gain reduction, which isn't so useful. So for in, in order for it to be able to tell us what levels there are, it needs to have an idea of what the signal was like before compression. So what I'm going to do is I'll turn this off, remove the gain reduction scope off here. Okay, I'm going to... So this is drums. And I'm going to create a new scope, a new track here with gain, for the gain reduction scope and the reason why I need a new track is going to be apparent quite shortly. So, what we need to do is we need to send a normal send into that track from the drum track. And in addition to that, we also need send in on three and four. The other thing we need to do is have the compressor on the same track as the scope. Before it, then delete it off the track. If I enable this now, And there we go, we're seeing our gain reduction. Now there's a slight, a slight hiccup with this. And that is that it's actually coming up in the positive, which is a bit of a pain. So what we, what we can do to fix that is in our pinout, in our pin parameters going into the gain reduction scope, you can see it's just straight mapping one and two to one and two and three and four to three and four. So if we instead have one and two go out to three and four and delete that one, and same for those. So now if we re enable our drums. It's actually just playing properly as it should as as a 
gain reduction rather than an increase. So what else can we use this for? Well, let's say we wanted to test it with saturation instead. So let's add saturation J in. Let's edit it to before the scope. Re-enable our drums. So now you can see that we're adding sort of a roundabout a dB or something, or a dB and a bit by the saturation, so if you then wanted to adjust for that, you could then use the volume adjustments after this. And you would be back at the similar level of gain to what you started with. So just a couple of other things. So if you want to hold the display so that you can see it at a certain point, you can just hold down on that hold button at the top there. You can also choose how long the sort of the history on the display is. You can set the range and the meter range. And you've also, as you can tell, got a signal on the left hand side there for your input and output levels. So that was uh, the gain reduction scope. Very useful little plugin. Hope you found it helpful and look forward to seeing you tomorrow in the next one.